It's 2019, meaning 2020 is right around the corner, and we've almost made it through three years of Trump, and the world is still standing. So if we could just hang on for a little bit longer and everybody votes in 2020, uh, it will not be as bad as uh, we thought it might be. Being out has kind of taught me everything um, in terms of my own life. I've always kind of um, been really interested in like punk rock music and alternative music and just sort of marching to your own drummer. And being out is definitely a giant part of that. I mean, my queerness or whatever, <laughs> my fluidity is so much a part of my identity as a person and so much a part of the work I do as a filmmaker. I'm really fortunate, I think, because um, I make independent films and now Apocalypse, and uh, both those opportunities allow me to really express myself and with kind of no censor. They're definitely uh, full of pride and full of just me and just with no filter. My legacy is definitely, I think, through my work. I mean, I don't have uh, biological kids of my own, and so, um, I like the idea that, you know, you can, you're just here for a limited amount of time and you just, for me, I've been so fortunate as an artist to be able to just create exactly what I wanted to create and um, just sort of put it out in the world. Figure from queer history, I probably really re admire just because he's a friend and sort of a godfather to me is John Waters. I mean, I think that he was really, just such a pioneer and really one of the first, you know, the first punk rocker before punk rock was even invented, the first indie underground filmmaker before Sundance and all of that. I mean, he just was out there kind of doing it on his own and that's such a great sort of beacon of inspiration, I think, for us all. 50 years since Stonewall, you know, there was obviously, it started there, but it, there was, it was the, the seeds of it were planted even before that, but it's really the idea of standing up for yourself and and really taking a risk and being bold, you know, which is what they did 50 years ago. It's kind of crazy to me, you know, in the 50 years since uh, the first Stonewall, how much progress has been made. You know, the idea that, you know, I'm of the generation that, you know, even things like gay marriage didn't seem possible you know, 25, 30 years ago. So um, the sky's kind of the limit. I mean, for me, it's obviously the idea of just full and irrevocable equality and the idea that you know, LGBTQI people are just people and we're all humans and everybody deserves the same respect and the same human rights. I mean, it's just, it's just common sense.